Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Weyerbacher. This is Sunday Mole Stout. So this is actually the base beer for Sunday Morning Stout, their barrel-aged uh, coffee imperial stout. Uh, but it is uh, same base beer with coffee, different ingredients added to it, and non-barrel-aged. So this is non-barrel-aged, remember that. Uh, it is brewed with coffee, cocoa, cinnamon, peppers, and a combination of peppers in here. 11.3%, let's dig in. Uh, so the beer is pitch black, but then it has a wonderful kind of lacing on there, good amount of carbonation, and then that kind of like, you know, dark brown film just like sitting on the glass. You even get some alcohol legs I can sort of see. Cheers. Mm. You get that kind of like fruity, peppery kind of notes. Uh, reminds me a little bit of like Chocovesa because it has like some cinnamon digging through, coffee notes, rich chocolate. But also that kind of coffee and roast and fruitiness reminds me a little bit of Sunday Morning Stout. So you certainly get some of the base beer coming through. Cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that hits you. Um, so it's not like, for the cinnamon people out there, um, it's not an offensive amount of cinnamon, but there certainly is some cinnamon in here. So it has a little bit of flavor of uh, like big red chewing gum, but not that intense. Uh, you can maybe think of something, I had to look it up, the Atomic Fireball, those like round balls of cinnamon flavor. Hated those as a kid. I don't know who eats those. They're absolutely disgusting. And then it even maybe even has some of that kind of like fireball shot kind of flavor because it has that cinnamon flavor backed up with the alcohol. And you guys know that horrible person that always offers fireball shots at a party. And it's absolutely disgusting. But um, I'm okay with cinnamon in here. It's actually pretty delicious. So cinnamon matched on with some um, sweetness, some milk chocolate driving through, dark chocolate. Roasted coffee for sure. And then you get that kind of like fruity, uh, peppery kind of note. The peppers in here, again, are not spicy. So that's a really interesting fact. Um, again, tastes like Stone Chocovesa, which is a quite accessible beer. Uh, drinks like that beer. Again, we're talking about chili flavor, not really the heat. And then it, like a wonderful combination of all those flavors I was talking about. Again, the coffee, the chocolate, um, the rich sweetness underlying the beer, the nice robust quality. Uh, this beer is 11.3, so it's much bigger than Stone Chocovesa. Uh, so for that reason, I actually like it. It actually tastes like st imperialized Stone Chocovesa, which I wish they did. And you sort of get that in this beer. Full mouthfeel, wonderful combination of flavors. Absolutely delicious. I absolutely love that beer. And I like this one even more because, again, you get a little bit more going on. Uh, well hidden for 11.3%. Not too much alcohol. Maybe a little bit digging on the back end, but it is delicious. And it actually compares quite well to some... Uh, Pretty sought after beer, something like a Westbrook Mexican cake. I would compare this uh, quite well to, and this is probably easier to get. So uh, for me, let's go something like a 98 on this one. Getting a 98. Personally, for me, I want some heat backing up this beer, but the flavors are spot on. I absolutely love the style. If anything, I overrate the style. So we're giving it a 98. So until next time, guys, cheers. And uh, don't drink Fireball. Later, guys.